listen. <clears throat> um, I need to talk to you. Yeah, I know. You were at the fight last night. Yeah, I was. Listen. You're new here. You have to know what goes on here. What are you talking about? This place. Things happen. Things that just start normal. Yeah, I figured that out last night. That was a little out of the ordinary. I'm not talking about that. The basement. Don't go down there. If you get kitchen or laundry rotation, stay on the ground floor. Okay? Why are you telling me this? Because I've been down there. And you don't forget what you see.
From what I'm told, the Franklin Hospital is well supplied. They're low on food, but they have everything else we need. They've been lucky. The creatures have been moving away from them, so they haven't had a lot of casualties. Do you know why? I don't know. Pilot said they saw them walking this way. They got worried about us. It's about what I saw on the ground, too. Yeah, 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 we figured that out. Yeah, I know. But the good news is, they convinced everybody at Franklin Memorial to pack up their gear and start heading over this way. So pretty soon, we're gonna have some reinforcements. Did you find her address yet? Good, let's go. Jared, I'm at the address. Are you okay? Yeah. Were you bitten? No. Good. You'll be safe with us. Okay. I know you. You're Ducky's girlfriend, aren't you? Yes. We've been looking for you. And for him. We'll find him. And when we do, we'll turn him back. Just like I was turned back. Okay. Come with us. We have a shelter. We have food and water, a safe place to sleep. We'll be safe. Can we turn him? Good. Do what you can until I can get there. I've been looking for you for a few days. Why me? Because you're the only other person besides me who has been in the basement of the prison. You understand the methods and intentions of these creatures better than anyone. And I need you to tell me everything you saw. I don't understand. We need to figure out how to stop this thing from spreading. You and I are the only ones that know how to do that. He's got some cuts and bruises, but he'll be okay. I'm gonna go talk to him. We found this place a few months ago. We realized it was the best place to bring people. We can keep it running on generators in the basement, but we still try to conserve power. We have a few solar cells on the roof. It at least keeps the emergency lights running. There's plenty of food and water to last a while. 
they were well stocked for hurricane season, which is what's going to save us. So, how long do you think we're going to last here? A long time. But I'm hoping to end all of this very soon. And what about the military, the National Guard, the Army? National Guard? Who knows? It's all fallen apart. For months? You're surprised? Look, it doesn't matter, okay? We're taking care of ourselves. We can't wait for someone to help us. We have to help ourselves. They should be here. It's not their fault. Look, it doesn't matter, okay? A few of the folks here are National Guard or police officers. But as far as they know, their units haven't been activated yet. Like I said, we're taking care of ourselves. Let's go. I'm not sure, but I think they're here for the same reason we all are. For food. You have any idea why? They need to eat. And this is probably a good place for them to get it. Eat flesh? No, not flesh. It's the blood. They need the blood. Yeah. yeah he's right. We haven't exactly seen them eating the flesh, but we have seen them drinking the blood. They remember some things. And they know we're here. The whole fourth floor of this building is a blood bank for the entire region. I think we could use that to our advantage. Running low on typo blood, and you're the only match. I'll be right there. Okay. I got it. What? The blood. It rejuvenates them. It makes them stronger. What can we do with that? We could use that to our advantage. We could lead them to wherever we want to go. As bait. Besides, some of those people can still be turned back. The others we're going to have to take on hand to hand if we have to. I know it sounds crazy, but any defenses we have are only going to last so long. I know. I've seen it. We have to make a stand. We have no more options. We have to make weapons. We have to improvise with whatever we can. We can keep running all you want, but sooner or later, these things are gonna catch up with us. If we can make a stand now, we can stop them from spreading. Now, we've come up with a plan. If all of you are willing to follow through with it. If we work together, we can survive the night. Together. Are you okay? It's okay, we're all scared here. We just have to stick together. Everyone's saying we won't make it. Let's just focus on tonight, okay? Don't worry. We'll get to see the sunrise together. I'll give you my word.
All right, everybody, listen up. You're going to see all kinds of things that you've never seen before. You're going to see some that are fresh and some that are rotten. But the fresh ones, you can turn them back. You can knock them down. You can incapacitate them in some way. But they can be turned back. So do not kill them. You should probably take the safety off first. We started this together. We're gonna end this together.
hear it? It's getting closer. How long do you think it'll be before they make it here? Probably another few minutes. We might be able to hold them off long enough until they finish getting the rest of the patients upstairs and get down here to help us. I hope so. So do I. What do we do if they can't get back to us in time? Do we fall back? We can't fall back. Nothing stands behind us except defenseless people. They'll never be able to clear the patients upstairs. I don't think we have very long. I think you're right. It sounds much closer now. They must have broken through the first defenses. Have they crossed the bridge? No, not completely. But our men can't hold them back for much longer. I think we only have a few more minutes before they make it here. How many of them are down? Do you think we have a chance? There's always a chance, Will. Of staying alive? I'm not sure. I see a lot of them. I think more than we expected. We're outnumbered. Badly. <laughs> You're not really sugarcoating anything, are you? If I lied to you, it wouldn't really help the situation now, would it? I guess not. Go to the next position. Let them know what to expect. And tell them I told you that. Be careful. Jared, I'm scared. We all are, Will. No, I, I mean I'm really scared. There's nothing to be ashamed of. I was afraid to tell you. I knew that. We're all scared. I've been through this before, and I'm still scared. A few months ago, everything was normal. I was at home, everything was fine. Now we're here, and it seems like we're in hell. It does. I don't know if I'm gonna make it through the night. You're gonna be just fine. We all are. We have to stay focused and do our jobs. How are you so calm? I'm not. But it helps that I have a responsibility to these people. None of us had a choice to be here, but we are. And all that matters now is that we do our best to get out of here alive. You're right. All right, get ready. They've broken through the first line and our men are falling back. Wait for them to get clear and begin firing. Jared? Yeah. I wouldn't have made it this far without you being here. We didn't always agree on everything growing up and I didn't approve of your life, but we're here now, and I'm sorry for everything that I've said. You can tell me when all of this is done. If anything happens to me, I need you to take care of Alexis. I need to be sure that she'll be okay. She will. I promise. Good. Are you ready? Ready. Good. Spare the innocent, the rest, aim for the head. So we find ourselves here again, huh? <laughs> yep.
Uh, we're outnumbered, but I think we can take them. Or we'll die trying. Are you okay? Yeah! Ducky, Shania, move! Go! Go back with everybody else! No, I want to stay with you! No, go now! Can you hear that? It's reinforcements. Okay, everyone, just focus. Let's keep it going. They've broken through. They're everywhere. I have to try to cut them off at the next junction. You're not gonna make it. I have to try anyways. Good luck, Cal. Jared hasn't gone through yet. He must be overrun. Go! Miguel!
All right, let's go for it now. No, it's not drilling. Oh. All right. <laughs> 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 the drill. Is it upstairs? Yeah. Oh, that's helpful. All right, let's try it. We can go for it. Okay, keep going. Oh, no, my titties are. Yeah, go ahead. Stop! I'm gonna hit you for real. No, what did Angel and Wendy do? 